from your home team. This is 25 News at 5. The election is over and voters decided they could live without it. But the Peoria County Auditor's Office will stick around anyway. Good Monday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. Amber's off tonight. But how long with this ruling will they keep the doors open? Alex Gall was there as a Peoria judge kept the funding coming, at least for the time being, Alex. Yeah, good evening, Tyler. This is the second time in two weeks that a Peoria County judge has ruled in favor of the auditor's office. First, it was a temporary restraining order two weeks ago. Now it's a preliminary injunction that'll keep the office funded for at least till the conclusion of this ongoing court case. This is a legal challenge brought by current auditor Jessica Thomas. Now, voters approved a referendum eliminating the office in November, shortly after the Peoria County Board said it would cut funding to the office at the beginning of December. But Judge James Mack today agreed that the referendum doesn't say when the auditor's post should be abolished. Jessica Thomas's attorney, Justin Penn, says Ms. Thomas should be able to serve out the remaining two years of her term that voters elected her to in 2020. It's unclear whether it's November 30th of this year, December of next year, December of this year, or at the end of her term. And that's not self-executing. The board has called the office redundant and cut its funding even before the election. All that's left of the auditor's office is that salary that Thomas can now keep collecting. Thomas has also sued over what her side's calls unfair ballot language and they haven't ruled out trying to get the referendum tossed out entirely. Now Tyler, the county says they plan to appeal this decision to an appellate court. The next hearing in this case is on December 15th, but for now it remains the status quo at the Peoria County Auditor's Office. We're live at the Peoria County Courthouse. I'm Alex Gall, 25 News.